Oh, that Paul, great bells tolling at the back there and bells tolling over in the U.S. as well. Extreme measures for an extreme crisis. The Federal Reserve pledges to buy about $300 billion of government bonds to help end the downturn. While well, again, the U.K.'s financial regulator calls for a revolution of the banking system. Two very interesting things going on here. David Costa, Dean of Robert Kennedy College, joins us now live from Zurich to answer some question that comes up when you look at all these measures that have been taken. And David, the Fed pretty much stunned uh, investors when they, when they announced what they did yesterday about the trillion dollars of government buying up bonds and mortgage debt. It's a pretty bold move. What do they know that the rest of us don't? Well, I don't really know what they know that we don't know, but certainly the Fed is now all in and they certainly want to give a signal that they're ready to do whatever it takes to solve the situation, to solve the financial crisis. I think the, the important move is that they are buying back again mortgage securities and that will certainly help the market, help the market to recovery and will have some positive results. Um, as soon as we, we fix the banking problem, I think the rest of the problems will, will likely ease step by step. So I think the Fed are doing, doing a strong signal to say we are here we're going to do whatever it takes we are all in and that's what they are doing this is really going to balloon their uh, their balance sheets per se what happens when this crisis is over and they then have to deal with uh, managing money supply is this going to cause a big problem Yes, what we have seen yesterday, for instance, if you look at gold, uh, we have seen really a trend where gold was going down incredibly yesterday and then he had a rally up. Why he had this rally? Because there are inflationary concerns. I'm concerned down the road in the next two, three years we're going to see inflation going up. We have now money printers printing even more money. So it's not a concern now in the immediate term, but after this we will see inflation going up. That's why a lot of hedge funds and a lot of uh, personal investors as well are taking on gold to edge against this possible inflation that will be coming down the road in the next couple of years. What happens across the pond here in the United Kingdom? You've got a lot of these reports that are coming out. I mean, you had the, 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 UK, the FSA come out with their own report talking about uh, revolutionizing how the financial services really work. Again, what ex was it worth the wait, the five-month wait for this particular report when, when all of these measures have been taken around the world very quickly? Well, obviously, when the regulators come in, they tend always to over-regulate, and that's going to have an impact on commercial banks, going to have an impact, a negative impact in terms of, of revenues, because when the capital requirements are higher, there is, of course, uh, less profitability coming down the road. However, it's one of those moves which is a bit uh, required if you want to ensure that uh, whatever happens in terms of risk uh, to, to those banks which have now been undertaken by the British government in the UK will not happen again. But again, uh, uh, regulators tend to over-regulate, and so down the road we're going to see less profitability in the banking sector but this said the banks there are still banks making profit and uh, particularly I think Swiss banks that have a very good chance to 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 go through this crisis and emerge as uh, as, as good franchise for the future all right David thanks very much for joining us and have a great morning all right let's move on now Chrysler was granted emergency loans by the government just last year to help it cope with the market slowdown now the third biggest American car maker is seeking more aid to secure its future, Shalit Khan has the details on a story you'll find only on Bloomberg.